Hey friends, Pastor Greg here from St. Paul's United Methodist Church and Wesley Foundation. And we're coming up now on the third Sunday of Advent and getting closer and closer to Christmas. By now, you're probably aware that we're talking about dreams this Advent. And not just the kind of dreams we have at night when we're sleeping, but, but the dreams of our heart, the things that we long for and that sometimes we can't even express. We've been talking about how dreaming big dreams is a part of the, the story of Advent and of Christmas. The prophets dreamed about a different kind of future. Mary, the mother of Jesus, dreamed about a child who would, who would bring justice to a world of injustice and set things right. This week, we'll be thinking about John the Baptist, who, who stood in a long line of prophets before him and who dreamed big dreams like they did, but who did it in his own way, pointing particularly to Jesus, the Messiah. In some ways, John wasn't just dreaming academically or theoretically, but he was living his dream. He was saying, look, here it is, right? God has come to us. The, the light of the world isn't some time in the future, but is here right now. When I think of John pointing to Jesus, pointing to the light of the world, it makes me wonder, how might we do that? How might we point to the light of Christ, to the, to the hope of the world? How, how might we do more than just dream dreams, but actually live our dreams out, even if in humble or subversive ways? How might we do that this Advent? We'd love to invite you to join us this weekend as Pastor Sarah shares a message with us on the third Sunday of Advent, and as our uh, handbell choir provides special music for us uh, in person at 9 and 10.30 uh, on Sunday morning in downtown State College, or online via our live stream on our YouTube channel at 10.30 or anytime after that. Finally, please note that we will have only one morning worship service at 10 o'clock in the morning on Sunday, December 24th. And then that evening, we'll have two Christmas Eve services. Four o'clock service will be a, a family-oriented service, uh, which our children will be uh, acting out the nativity for us. And then a seven o'clock uh, traditional candlelight service on Christmas Eve. Then on Sunday, uh, December 31st, we'll once again have only one morning service at 10 o'clock. We'll resume our regular worship schedule in January. We hope to see you this weekend and in the days ahead as we continue our Advent journey.